next gen. Here at Gamescom, we have been revealing a new level uh, called Parcel Storm, and together with that, a uh, new game mode called Obliteration. And we're proud to say that we're now going 64 players at 60 FPS. If we look back at Battlefield 1942 and so on, we always have uh, had water as a part of the battlefield. It's about land, sea and air. With Parasol Storm, we're bringing it back to the oceans. So it's, it's a number of islands. It's, it's uh, down in the uh, uh, Chinese Sea where the Parasol Islands are located. And in here, uh, amongst all of these islands, we have a beautiful day going from sunny to a raging storm. And what is totally new with the power of Frostbite 3 is the fact that we managed for the first time in a multiplayer game to deliver dynamic waters. You go from the calm surface to raging sea where you don't only have to fight enemies but also the, the violent waves. And for Parasol Storm we want to, we want to make every le level feel unique. Every map should have a unique touch. On this one, it's going from a beautiful sunny day into a raging storm. And as this happens, the lightning strikes one of the windmills out at sea. And uh, by that, we open up the possibility of finishing it off, unleash the big battleship that is anchored out there and send it in, hopefully crashing on your enemies at that point uh, owning the base where it's going to come crashing so it's it changes the layouts and suddenly you have an anti-air gun up there on the battleship that you can use at your disposal and take over the airspace What we see with this, we have another level showed in the Levolution video where we take the new water system uh, and take it to downtown a city where, to start with, it's shallow water but you can still use traditional vehicles in there. But if one of the teams decide to take out the levee, you flood the whole city, the water rises and you can access new places, you start roaming the streets with, with boats and we created a new battlefield, so it's always important to, to change how you play, it shouldn't only be beautiful. Yeah, that's another level uh, where uh, we have a big dam uh, going, crumbling into pieces and, and what we see and what we hope will happen, with Battlefield you can't really dictate how players are supposed to play and that's the beauty of it, but what we like to see is, is that you as a team can make a choice. Do we want to bring it out and alter the battlefield or do we, to the strength of our team, prefer it pristine? So if we're good helicopter pilots, for example, on the siege of Shanghai, maybe we want the tower to still stand there since then we can cover the elevators and we own the airspace. But if we're bad pilots, we want to bring it down ASAP so that we can own the seas, we can own the base down there. So hopefully we'll see a tug of war in regards to your playing style, your preferred way of playing. So, I mean, one of the foundations for moving forward with that Battlefield 4 and take it to the next level is truly the new Frostbite 3 engine. It, it, it allows us to scale to the next generation of hardware while still delivering good stuff on uh, the current generation of platforms. And with this, we've been able to enable our art team to, to just, to be honest, make miracles with, with the looks of it. And to be able to, to, to build uh, these new raging seas, to be able to, to add more destruction than ever and build this concept of Levolution, the, the highly dynamic battlefield. And then tying all of this together so that when the storm does kick in, it's not only that you see waves or you see a dark sky, but it's all tying together, you know, particles starts flying around, it, rain is coming, it splatters on your screen. You know, it's, it's one coherent experience and we are so in, we're so used to how we experience a storm in real life that it's very easy to spot when it doesn't do the thing for you. But what I hear from people here is, is that it's working, so I'm, I'm super happy.
since wherever I talk to people here, it seems like if they've played Battlefield, they all have a unique story to tell. Uh, so it's, uh, it's super exciting. Uh, we're also introducing new vehicle types, so uh, what we can, uh, what people can try out in here is the new jet skis. We have the new attack boats uh, to really make the most of these new water environments. And we're also exchanging some of the old vehicles to kind of keep, uh, keep up with uh, what's happening around us in the world. The beauty of Battlefield is kind of the rock, paper, scissor, and some of these vehicles in the right hand can become very powerful. So if you do manage to take down the attack helicopter, for example, you don't want it to respawn instantly or have an armada of them. So it's a fine balance and we still, I mean, it's always scary to go out and show the game live streamed for millions out there. Uh, so we're still tweaking and tuning, but uh, I think we're, we're starting to hit that point where we feel that, yes, this is the next generation. Battlefield 4 will be coming out to the stores 29th of October in North America, 31st in Europe uh, on current gen and PC and then on the next generation this holiday. So it's, it's exciting times.